Uh, there is another question from Faustina Dako. Please, with the CNA, what if uh, it is being mentioned that it has been affiliated to the U.S.? Do you still need to, another training when you get there? Uh, is the person who asked the question if you are you already CNA in Dubai or other country? Oh, maybe if you they say is only affiliated, maybe it depends on where you took your classes. So if that's the case, they might. Mind. But it's still, uh, for me, like, because most of these exams are state-based exam. Exactly. So, you, I mean, they, they, yes, you, what you can do, you, can, you might get the exception of the course, maybe, but the, yeah. the exam, you must take it. You have to take it so you can get your license for the state. Because, because the license is also helping you with the lawsuit, like the mistake, the, the laws of that particular state. Uh, another, thing, uh, another thing that will help her, uh, when Dubai, they practice their regulation, everything differently. You know how, if you come here, you just want to go to work, how do you going to know this is legal, this is not illegal? So it's nice if like, it's only two weeks, two weeks is not a lot, but it will save you a lot. Because when I'm telling you American people in the hospital and stuff, some of them, they are not easy to deal with. I'm telling you, they're not easy. Yeah. And you cannot even reply, like, you know, somebody can call you names and everything. Guess what? Yes, man. <laughs> Sorry. I am like, you exactly. cannot say it back. But it, do, in Africa, you can say back and be in charge. Like, I'm not giving you the medicine if you say that. Like, you mean here. So it's nice to know those things before you go in, because you can go to jail for something small. Like, that's why I say this job needs a lot of patience, a lot of patience. Yeah, so that is very, very true. Uh, someone is responding, uh, Mauka, who is in uh, Ohio, is saying, uh, for CNA, you, you only need 75 hours of classroom work and can make more if you uh, you took uh, LPN and N uh, at least $25 per hour uh, for a year, cause three semesters, kind of that. Yeah, so. There is SNAs who make twenty five dollars an hour who work with the agency. I had the SNA make thirty five. So that's what I'm saying. If you wanna go to school to become a nurse, go straight for RN. Because at RN you have more choices of where you can work. S uh, LPN you are limited. Like right now LPNs they can only work in the nursing homes. If you wanna work in a hospital or maybe I wanna work in maybe maybe say dialysis in here, they don't take LPNs. It's RN. So if you want to go to school, just go for RN. That's what I think. If you really want to have to advance yourself, it's easy. But if you go to LPN, you take two years, let me say. Then you want to go to RN. It's like you're starting over. You go for three years or four years, whatever. Then you want to go take your bachelor. It's like waste of money and time. But you go to straight RN, you advance to bachelor's, you advance to master's in PhD. It's easier and less money when you go straight to RN. Uh, so, to Mauka is explaining what is uh, EHST mean, ENDA and EBM. Is, uh, EHST is a health and safety officer, plus we also manage hospital waste bio, uh, bio safety. Oh, okay, nice. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, another question. Do nurses in the U.S. have a paid leave to visit their home countries? Yes, you can. You do. We do. They don't care where you visit, obviously. Whether you are country or you are going to sleep, they don't care, right? They don't care. <laughs> your vacation, you go. <laughs> and another thing, some places, like, you get your vacation time and also you get you accumulate time, the more hours you work. Let me say you work like a place I used to work. Every two weeks, you get free eight hours. Every two weeks. If you pick up more hours, you get more. Like you might end up getting 12. So by the end of the year, if you are the person who pick up a lot, instead of semi, like, instead of getting 40 hours of vacation time, you might end up with 80. You can use some and go on vacation. Sometimes you can catch the money. So... You get, yeah, you still get paid leave. But the crazy thing about America, I've seen a lot. Maybe you started working, they mostly give you two weeks. You don't get a whole month. But some places they understand that we're from Africa. You go home, you don't only stay for two weeks. You talk yeah. to them, they'll let you 
per month. So it's just, it's nice. So, but you can take a month or six weeks. Like, I, like where I work right now, there's a guy who goes to Africa. He's going to take six weeks. They're okay with that. Then he work with them. They, he's nice and the people are nice. They let him go for six weeks. But you might not get paid six weeks, but they let him go for six weeks. Yeah. And Usa Mildred is having a question. Please, Mr. EBM, on the office, Edna, what if you are not from a nursing background or oh, overall science in your home country? How can you go about it to become a nurse or in a medical profession? I was HGL. Can you imagine? Yeah, history, <laughs> geography, and English. That one don't matter. You just come here, you go to... The, the good thing about America, they don't say, oh, because you are HGL, you cannot become a doctor. You, cannot beca you can become anything you want. You, Because I was HGL. No science. But I came here, I'm a nurse now. I had to take science classes, I had to take statistics. They don't care. It's you and your dream. You just go for it. Yeah.